Hey guys, welcome back to Camilo's Notebooks of Mathematical Proofs and Ideas. Today we'll be doing something more interesting than our last video, which was just the geometric interpretation of polynomial factorization. Today we'll be looking at Lie groups, so warning, there will be a bit of advanced math involved here. So today we're going to be looking at the Iwasawa decomposition of SL2R. The Iwasawa decomposition of a semi-simple Lie group basically generalizes the way square matrices can be written as a product of an orthogonal matrix and an upper triangular matrix, which is a consequence of the Gram Schmidt orthogonalization process. We're going to be using something just like it to get our decomposition. Anyways, uh, it's named after Kenkichi Iwasawa, the Japanese mathematician who developed this method. Roughly speaking, the Iwasawa decomposition of a Lie group is a way of representing it as the direct product of a maximal compact subgroup K, an abelian group sitting inside called A, times a nilpotent group N. So our example, we will decompose SL2R. So we're going to let G be SL2R. This is the set of matrices, we'll call them G. But, you know, as a matrix, they're A, B, C, D, such that their determinant is equal to 1. And this, is, of course, naturally sits inside GL2R, which is isomorphic, at least as a topological space, to the four-dimensional real space. So let G be in G. Of course, G looks like this, and we're going to see what G does to the standard basis of R2. Standard basis E1 and E2, of course, just as a brief reminder, are these two vectors. And if we apply G to them, we see that G applied to E1 gives us the first column, AC, and G applied to E2 gives us the second column, BD. And since the determinant of G is positive, namely it's 1, but it's still greater than 0, then because of facts from Riemannian geometry, the ordered pair E1, E2, and G E1 time G E2 have the same orientation. The determinant is positive and thus is orientation preserved. We have three interesting subgroups. Our first one we'll call it K, is gonna be our maximal compact subgroup, which for our case is gonna be SO2, the group of two-dimensional rotations, rotations of the plane that they look like this. Theta can be a real number, or vary from 0 to 2 pi, doesn't really matter, just note that the determinant is of course 1 of every matrix in there. Our abelian group, A, will be isomorphic positive real numbers with multiplication, but specifically it will be the set of matrices of this form. Tau sub R is R 0, 0, 1 over R, where of course R is going to be positive here. Also note that these matrices have determinant 1. And our third interesting subgroup in here will be the nilpotent part of matrices of this form. 1, X, 0, and 1. For X a real number, and this is of course just isomorphic to R. And I think I messed up here, it will be isomorphic to R as a group with addition. Clearly. So the Iwasawa decomposition of SL2R here will be a way of expressing SL2R as K times A times N, meaning that every element in SL2R will be written as a product of a matrix from K times a matrix from A times a matrix from N. So let's start. What we want is exactly this that for every G and G, G is a rotation times some scaling times some translation. Here, noticing the parameters theta, r, and x, which are all real, we can see almost immediately that the dimension of SL2R is 3, that it's a three-dimensional hypersurface inside R4. And recall the rho sub thetas are matrices of this form, the tau sub r's are matrices of this form, and the t sub x are matrices of this form. 
Now remember that G is a 2 by 2 matrix, so it can be seen as a linear transformation from the plane to itself. And to see what G does, we'll just see what it does to the basis vectors E1 and E2, as we mentioned before. So to find the decomposition, we'll use a process called the Grandschmidt orthogonalization process, where we turn any basis of Rn into another orthonormal basis of Rn and n equals 2 in our case. Recall the row sub thetas are these rotation matrices and let theta be the specific one where theta is the angle from the positive x-axis to g times e1 which is the vector a comma c. Now that makes an angle with the positive x-axis. Consider the, the inverse of that rotation. So rotate by negative theta and apply that to g times e1 and we'll get a vector on the x-axis, which in turn will be a scalar multiple of E1. So some constant times E1, and following the Gram-Schmidt process, we need to normalize it by dividing by the length of this vector, which the rotation doesn't affect the length, so that the length of this vector is the length of just G E1, which is the length of AC, which is the square root of A squared plus C squared and we'll define that to be r, some positive real number. So now let t sub r be this matrix again, and if we multiply rho sub negative theta times g times e1 by tau sub r inverse, it'll have the effect that we want, which is to scale it down to get e1, the original standard basis element. So now let's see what this transformation does to E2. Again, since these ordered pairs have the same orientation by the comments from before, it follows that this vector tau sub r inverse rho sub negative theta times g times E2 will be somewhere in the upper half plane and specifically be somewhere in the first quadrant. However, for our purposes, this won't really matter. So this composition fixes E1 and takes E2 to some vector x comma 1 for some x, since again, tau sub r inverse has determinant 1, and hence is orientation preserving. So our picture looks like this. This composition is equal to E1, and let's say this is the same transformation applied to E2, and has coordinates x comma 1. So these two vectors form the edges of a parallelogram of area 1. Finally, all we need is a horizontal shear transformation, and we'll call them t sub x from before, which all have determinant 1, clearly, and they fix the x-axis while translating horizontal lines left or right by a value of x. So applying t sub negative x to tau rho g times e2, it'll take this vector x comma 1 exactly to the basis vector 0 comma 1, because we're just subtracting off the x in the first component. So hence the composite transformation, call it capital T, t sub negative x composed with t sub r inverse composed with rho sub negative theta composed with g takes e1 to e1 and e2 to e2. Hence, it follows that this transformation must be the identity matrix. So we have this formula that the t sub negative x tau sub r inverse rho sub negative theta times g is the identity 2 by 2 matrix. And so using properties of the inverse of matrices and the uh, inverse of a product of matrices, and the formula for the inverse of a square matrix, we get these three inverses work out really nicely. To just rewrite this equation as rho sub theta, tau sub r, t sub x, all of it inverse times g is the identity matrix, and then solve for g. Hence, g is exactly rho sub theta, tau sub r, t sub x. So now we've seen that every element 
of g is in fact of this form where k again is our maximal compact subgroup in our case so2 tau is our maximal abelian group of these types of matrices and this is isomorphic to the positive real numbers and even isomorphic to the real numbers and and t sub x will be this nilpotin matrix which is of course just isomorphic to r with the obvious isomorphism so thus sl2r is k times a times n direct product and this is the Iwasawa decomposition of SL2R. This decomposition extends into higher dimensions. We can decompose SLNR, the special linear group of n by n matrices, again as some k times a times n, where in this case k will be the special orthogonal matrices of dimension n. A, our abelian group, will be the group of diagonal matrices with positive diagonal entries and determinant 1, and n will be the group of upper triangular matrices with ones along the main diagonal. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a thumbs up if you liked the video and remember to subscribe if you would like to see more of these in the future. Now you can follow me on Instagram at Camilo's Notebooks. Thanks again and see you guys in the next one.